First, let me register my protest. <laughs> um, that is to put me in a panel with Sam Sar. Why? Well, you, um, where do you have the protest? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Individual mm -hmm. um, who served as a public officer in this country mm -hmm. and notorious for aiding abetting mm -hmm. uh, tyranny and dictatorship mm -hmm. that has cost the lives of scores of Gambians and plunder of our resources and now continue to aid and abet a corrupt government like this and seeking to discredit um, the excellent work that the National Audit Office has done. Um, the conversation he's taking this thing is not the place. That is not the issue. So um, I'm ashamed that I'm in this panel. I wish I had known mm. that Sam would be here because I don't think he has any legitimacy mm. um, <laughs> to I sit to talk about the life, the destiny of this country when he had the opportunity to serve and decided to undermine uh, the life, the destiny of this country. Having said that, I must say the Auditor General did an excellent work mm. and it is shameful for anyone to attempt to discredit, to undermine the Auditor General mm -hmm. as the Minister of um, Health, Amadou Sane, mm -hmm. attempted to do, as the Secretary General, Noha Toure, attempted to do, and so on. And just like Sam is doing right now. Mm -hmm. You see, this Auditor General, this is not his first report. Mm -hmm. You go back 10 years, mm -hmm. more than that, you'll find this Auditor General exposing abuse, corruption, misuse of public resources since the time of Jami. Go to their website, you'll find reports there, 2007, 2008, I mean, they're there. Mm -hmm. So if anyone is surprised about what is happening today, you because you never cared, you never went to check. This report, we shouldn't be discussing this report here. Mm -hmm. Either all Gambians should have been out in the streets, <laughs> or the parliament, the, the, the parliament, <laughs> because this was submitted to the parliament. Mm -hmm. you you know it? Side, it's it. okay, mm -hmm. all right. This report was submitted to the parliament. Mm -hmm. That's where the, the parliament failed us because they should have acted on this report. You read this report, you will see blatantly public officials, public institutions refusing to give documents to the Auditor General, following them on and on. Mm. You'll see payments where there are no vouchers received soon. You'll see payments for goods that are not delivered or delivered in full. So people are 669. It was illegal, as Kirk said, it was illegal to open this in 2012. It was illegal to open it in 2017, to reopen it in 2017. But this is just six, six, nine million. In this report, there is 11 billion mm -hmm. that government gave to uh, private enterprises. Mm -hmm. I mean, why are we paying Nawek? Why are we maintaining mm -hmm. Nawek? Mm -hmm. Or Gamsel, or Gamtel, or Ports, or GNPC, and so on and so forth. These are public enterprises, government businesses that are supposed to do business, provide services, and create revenue mm -hmm. for government. Mm -hmm. Their services are poor. They waste money, yet government goes and gives them money and they don't pay back. I mean, what an insult. And we sit here, somebody trying to discredit that report. If there is anyone government should protect, is the Auditor General right now. And if anyone we should scold, is the Gambia government and the National Assembly. It is so shameful that a whole Minister of Health would go to call a press conference. To respond to an auditor general's report when critical issues have been raised there or a secretary general going to the media to give an air time to uh, explain anything implement the report go to the report and 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 take decisions there right now a lot of issues that have been sent to the igp to open investigations and prosecutions mm -hmm. because said. millions of our money has been plundered Indeed. You look at this uh, um, uh, uh, withdrawals in the security account alone. You see a name like Alaji Sise, chief of protocol. Go and read the Jana Commission. The man has withdrawn over three million dollars at the time of Jan, I mean Jame. Jana Commission, they asked, what was it? I don't know. I was just asked to go. I gave it to the president. I don't know what he did with it. 
Today, you go and look at that same report. You see his name there, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million. Same practice. Look, look, be, when, look this country is not a joke. And we cannot sit here and bring people like Sam sir, to come and talk about no, the death of this country. No, I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm so disappointed no, no, that Ker Fatu no, would say, find nobody no, worthy to bring to discuss no, no, national I, issues I, other than I, Sam sir, who has so failed this country I disagree, beyond repair. I disagree that Ker Fatu would right. like to hear from everybody. No, 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 Cham, that, no, that is nonsense. No, Cham, that is nonsense. We don't do respect. That is nonsense. We don't need to hear from everybody. Of course. No, 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 Public service, public service, public service, all right, public service, public service is an honor. Public service is an honor. To serve in public service is the greatest honor any citizen could have. For you to be elected or appointed to go and sit and serve in the public office. So no one, no one has a second chance if you plunder that public office. You have no second chance whatsoever. You have no voice whatsoever when you betray the people. Betrayal that has cost lives, that has cost features, that has cost people, you know, everything. You have no, I mean, you have no legitimacy anymore. Because you have a chance. Go and do that in your family. Go and do that in your house. Go and do that wherever you want. But in public office, you have no reason. There is no excuse for you to hold public office and, and betray it. Because you, when you betray public office, when you plunder public office, you kill lives. So blood is on his hands right now. Because let's, of let's, let's, no, no, no. <laughs> let's concentrate on the, on the, on the audit report. What? Continue your observations on the audit report. Can I respond? No, we, we will come to that. We will come to respond. respond yeah, we will come to the I personal ones. We will come, Sam. Uh, I, I mean, man. Let's let's continue your your perspective for uh, of this uh, report. What do you think had been wrong or right in the opening and reopening of the account? And you know how much the blame should be proportionate between the two regimes? Um, this report, this act. Um, is wrong. I, I don't see what more anyone can say. And the president, the minister of finance, the government must be held account for opening an illegal account and putting public funds in there. That is, for me, a crime that tantamount to impeachment. Mm. Because it's a crime that costs um, economy, that costs the economy of this country. And one of the grounds for impeachment is for misconduct that has economic implications mm -hmm. by the president. Mm -hmm. So the president should not have allowed for this account to be opened. Or so, reopened. Or reopened. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing more anyone can say. Mm -hmm. And the idea that some accounts, I mean, like the nonsense this man is talking about here, that security, um, NIA, some military, some... Look, you go to the United States, the NSA, the CIA, the FBI, their accounts... They are under the Congress. They they know. We all right, we know. When they were talking right. about the Oliver North they, they, account, they, 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 Oliver they, they, North. Right. That, that's why Oliver North had to resign. That has he has to be indicted. But it was yeah, something look, that I mean, went through right. for years. So, 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 so the, 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 the National Assembly, the budget for the payment of the Ukrainian war today. The National Assembly, you have been silenced. All right, look, no, I mean the National Assembly. All right, the National Assembly is the apex body. There is no institution mm -hmm. in the country, in a democratic country, no, no, that is above the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. So the uh, um, budget of the military, mm -hmm. of the intelligence, there is a, a, a committee in the National Assembly mm -hmm. called the Defense and, and Security, security. Committee. Mm -hmm. um, we know for security reasons, not all information about the military, the intelligence and so on mm -hmm. will be public. Mm -hmm. But there is no information that is beyond the scope. Mm -hmm. Of the Defense and Security Committee Indeed. of the National Assembly. Indeed. So the National Assembly should know to the last dot how many ammunitions the, the NIA has Indeed. bought. How much? What ammunitions do they have? Mm. The chairman of the Defense and Security Committee should know that. Mm. Because the National are the military, the intelligence, they are to be held accountable. They are public institutions. They are not above mm. the National Assembly. Impossible.
Madi. So I, for I common, know, so somebody said that we know. Alright, welcome. Listen, welcome. There are special operations welcome. that the National Assembly will never know. You will the expenditure. Only, use. only dictator like, enablers spies, to say something like that. Spy 